Yodel for your neighbor's day. The sounds of yodeling, melodious, funny or croaky, will fill the air when people celebrate yodel for your neighbor's day on January 13th. Every year, the day encourages people to try their hand at yodeling. It motivates them to get to know people around them better by inviting them to yodel along. Yodeling is an age-old form of singing popularized by the shepherds in Scandinavia. In yodeling, the singer creates sounds by rapidly alternating his or her sounds back and forth between different pitch registers in the chest and head. The notes emanating often end in O or OD and vary in range from the low pitch registers in the chest to the high pitch ones in the head, also known as falsetto. The singing art form is believed to have been discovered in the 1500s in the Central Alps. Shepherds there use the unique sound to communicate with people in the hills and to round up their cattle. It's likely that the art came to America in the 1800s, brought into the country by German immigrants in the Pennsylvania. Soon, minstrels and touring music groups from Europe featured yodeling in their performances. The trend caught America's fancy and homegrown family singing groups such as the Hutchinson family singers started performing the art. The best part about yodeling is that lay people with a basic understanding of notes and rhythms can also enjoy yodeling. And that's why Yodel for Your Neighbor's Day has become popular across the United States. You can yodel without expensive equipment or a venue. Just walk through the neighborhood yodeling and call out to your neighbors to join you. Soon, you'll find yourselves being part of a small group yodeling happily on the street.